Hey folks, Lance right here, coming at you with a little bonus video for the Regrowth series. This is going to be a power comparison of all of the early game power systems that you could possibly get to relatively about the same time, uh, early game. So uh, one of the ones that I did not include was the Mariculture Generator. Uh, it takes up a lot of space and it definitely doesn't hardly even rate on the scale. It produces very minimal amount of power until you get titanium, which is not necessarily at the same time. So that would be a little bit later, and then it, it really lacks in power. So we're not comparing that one. So let's go over what we are going to compare. So back here at the very end, I've got Batania. should mention that this is the second time I've set this up. I tried to record this about two weeks ago, and I had a little fail with the thing that I was trying to use to consume the power because I was trying to use the Buildcraft laser table. And I had about the same spacing that I have these. That didn't work out very well. I'm sure you can use your imagination. Uh, but it looked really cool when I turned it on. So I had to scrap that video. I decided to make this video again because power got uh, mentioned in one of my recent videos. And I wanted to just... Put them all side by side, and we're going to see which one's the best for the situation that we have. So down here, build um, Botania power converter, the mana flux field. Turns flux into, into power. I've got uh, 16 floating endo flames and a Gaia mana spreader with a, um, with a potency lens on it, just so it would be able to, to feed that power faster. So up here, I'm going to load 16 coal coke into the hopper so i'm going to be using 16 units of fuel for comparison in all these so next up we got the peat fired engine this is a potentially you can't actually get to this about the same time uh i have never seen anybody really do much with this but it is a possibility so i've included it and it has two different kind of fuels it can use peat and it, you can use by bituminous peat so the bituminous peat you actually have to cook a little bit of peat first, get some ash, or get some ash some other way in order to be able to craft that in the first place, but that is the best fuel. So I'm only going to be comparing the best fuels in these systems. So here, the best fuel is probably cold coke. Um, better would be blocks of cold coke, but since I'm not putting blocks of cold coke in down there, I just I don't want the experiment to go on that long. Uh, we're just going to use a regular cold coke. So next up, after the peat engine is the biogas engine and uh, this is another uh, forestry engine I believe yeah pretty sure this is a forestry one this one runs on biomass and water those are the best combination of of fuels that you can use in this but this will accept a wide range of fuels um, let's see if I hold uh, it used to it used to tell me when I held shift over there something okay, okay. For, forget everything i just said it's lava uh, this requires a little bit of lava to get it started and then it'll burn different fuels so there we go now it's working so hold shift for details we can see all the different fuels that it can potentially take milk honey water fruit juice fish oil sap biomass resin and seed oil biomass is going to give you the biggest output which is what we're, what we're looking for all right next up combustion engine this one is going to be powered off of fuel. This is the, why is that going in there? Why is that, it shouldn't be going in there. Well, okay. Why is that feeding in there? It stopped. After putting two buckets in there. How many buckets do I got up in there? Is that exactly two bucks? Oops. I just put another bucket in there. Ah, uh, visual glitch. Here, let me fix that. This is still not going the way I really was hoping. Uh, let me get some more water for in it. Fill it up with water. Make sure it has plenty of water. Okay. Uh, and then fill that up. And has that got a full 16 bucks in it? It does. All right. Don't click on the combustion engine with the bucket of fuel because you'll put fuel in it. Silly land strider. Okay, there we go. Now it's set up. Ready to go. It's empty with fuel. The fuel is going to get pumped in when I turn the whole thing on. All right. Next up uh, is the Railcraft steam boilers. 
but really what I'm testing is the industrial steam engine over here. This is the best out of the th out of the three tiers of steam engine, the industrial steam engine. And I got another one right over here. We can just uh, take a quick look at those. The the, the hobbyist is produces says it produces 20 RF a tick. The commercial says it produces 40, and the industrial says it produces 80. We're gonna see. All right, so steam boilers are loaded with water. This boiler is loaded with water. This boiler is loaded with water. This has a little extra water. Come on, I can't, I can't put, actually, I can't put the water in there because this is about to receive these guys fuel cans. So it's going to get 16 cans of fuel, which is equivalent to 16 buckets. Remember, 16 units of the best fuel per setup, and the solid fuel boiler is going to get 16 units of cold coke. Okay. And finally, just as a um, as a control, we've got the hobbyist steam engine right here. So that's going to get 16 uh, units of fuel. So let me uh, clear my inventory. Have all that junk now, and let's talk real quick about how I'm going to be measuring it. So you'll notice that each one of these has a barrel full of cobble, a crusher from mechanism. Now you wouldn't be able to get a crusher from mechanism at the time you get these engines, but I, th I thought that this would be a really good way to evaluate the amount of power and how quickly they, it gets that power out to the machines. So all these are upgraded with nine speed upgrades. I think that's maximum, um, but that's going to allow it to use up the power pretty much as fast as it can possibly get it out of, from any of these systems. I'm pretty sure that none of these systems are going to be able to overpower the crusher because it could accept a ton of RF with those upgrades. And then it's going to crush the uh, cobble and eject it into the empty barrel on the other side automatically. All these barrels on this side have a auto um, or have a hopper upgrade so that uh, they will keep the crusher full of cobble as it uses it up but what we're going to be looking at is how much cobble ends up in this barrel how quickly and um also the total amount for the 16 units of fuel per engine setup or power system setup so i'm not giving these guys any advantage of being heated up first or anything like that they're just going to get their fuel and whatever they produce for those 16 units is what we're going to be evaluating them on so first thing we're going to be looking at is how fast do they produce power so like uh how quickly we start getting the the uh output over here i think it's just going to be sand i can't remember if it's sand or, or or gravel but anyway whatever output it is it's going to be the same output and we're going to be able to measure it relatively easy so i think we're ready to go ahead and turn this on um yeah, basically when I turn this on, those hoppers are going to automatically eject into there. This hopper is going to eject down there and drop that uh, stuff. And we should be good to go if I didn't mess anything else up. So let's uh, let's flip the switch and we'll start the experiment. Ooh, there we go. And I want to go down here and look. This Is this thing looking? Might take a moment for that to actually do its thing. There it goes. Endo flames pumping out some power now. Quite a bit, looks like. Decent amount of power. Peat engines heating up. I don't know. Don't think this requires any fluid. This is just a this is just where the ash ends up as it burns up the peat. Now this thing, once it actually gets started, does not require any more lava. If it is using well it depends on the the fuel they're using, but with biomass it does not require any more lava than the initial startup amount of like, like uh, I think it's like 250 or so, or 150 or so-ish uh, mill buckets. Combustion engine is cranking away. And it is going to be, they're not ejecting, are they? Their output, does that work? That's saddening. I was thinking for sure that they would automatically output. 
Wow, this crusher has already produced 10. So, wow, definitely for speed wise, Britannia definitely is winning there. Produ produced a 12 gravel already. Ah, oh, man, I really wish I would have got that ejection thing correct. The little, these uh, configurations are a little slot output. Should output to dark blue, right? Oh, I know what I didn't do right. So I got to go in here and I got to turn on the auto eject. Hey, hey, look at that. Auto eject. Auto eject. Let me get those all quickly turned on to auto eject. Um, and then we'll take a quick look at which one's winning the speed. Should be able to, to tell at this point. Auto eject on. And last one. Auto eject on. Okay. So, let's see, who's winning speed? Uh, combustion's already outputted four. The biogas is actually uh, almost keeping up. It's outputted three. Peat pirate engine is outputted one. And the uh, mana, the botania setup has outputted 12, but it has ran out of power already. So that's, that's all that longer that power lasts. The Britannia is very inefficient on the fuel usage. Let me just tell you, it it uh, it is it can be quite quick, obviously, produced it the, much faster than the rest of these, but it run out of power, and that's all we're going to get out of those sixteen um, sixteen bits of of fuel of cold coke. We only got twelve results. I think we're going to do better on the total amount, the efficiency on the rest of these. Uh, this guy right here, industrial steam engine, is still heating up, so it ain't even it ain't even to the start line yet. Uh, same with this one, same same. These take are going to take about the same amount of time to heat up to before they actually start producing fuel. And this one has already used up half of its fuel, and it's not even up to steam yet. So now the uh, hobbyist engine is actually is working down here doing this little doing a little bit of work uh, not producing very much yet hasn't made it made anything yet all right combustion engine definitely in the lead uh, if we don't count we don't count Britannia it's in the lead I think we're going to uh, I just wanted to d demonstrate that I mean obviously if you want to get a lot of work done fast and you have completely unlimited resources and just tons of them, that would be the way to go. But efficiency-wise, it is so far down the scale, it's ridiculous. But um, So I'm just going to keep an eye on this and we'll be back in a little bit to give you an update. And then we'll be back again after that to show you the final results. So maybe the problem that I had initially noticed, where these guys didn't seem like they were putting the full amount of power into the pipes, maybe that was fixed in the most recent update to 074. Because when I noticed the problem, I was still on 073. Does seem to be working better than they were the last time I did run this test. All right. Well, the engines are not run out of fuel yet, but I think that with the data that we've collected, we can call a winner. But there's a two, actually kind of two winners in the in this race, uh, because combustion engine is still great. I've had to keep water in this to make sure that it doesn't blow up, overheat. Uh, normally, I would have a uh, pump connected directly to it, pumping lots of water into it. But uh, this one's starting to catch up. the The steam engine, the industrial steam engine, connected to the to the fluid boiler, and this has produced enough steam that I could actually have a second one of these running off of it now. Uh, as far as the fuel that they've used, this has ten still has 10 buckets left uh, it's only used up like two buckets of its fuel this has used uh, four buckets of its fuel almost and about to use up another one 
So fuel efficiency wise, and once this one gets fully heated, it won't use as much fuel to stay hot. So there it goes. Just use up another bucket of fuel. Uh, fuel efficiency wise, this is probably going to win. This is probably going to win a little bit. Um, and I, I like I said, I think it was a pre it was because of the previous version of Buildcraft that I had originally said that these weren't outputting what they were advertising. But uh, with the current build of the pack, they are definitely working. It's a little different than this. This, if we look in, if we look in the crusher, you can see the power just kind of continuously, steadily goes, you know, cycles. You know, it's just continuously getting a nice stream of power. And if you look at the graphic on the pipe, it stays a nice constant sized amount of power through the pipe. This, however, is getting like big chunks of RF. Like every couple ticks or whatever. And if you look at the pipe, you can see that it's kind of fluctuating back and forth on the amount of power that's in the pipe at any given time. But it is actually outputting the ARF that is now advertising. So it has started to catch up to the uh, combustion engine. And I feel like it's going to be about the same amount of work done when it's all said and done for the fuel. But I think I could get more work if I went ahead and started utilizing extra steam by having an additional engine there. So definitely, this, this system wins out overall if you just need a lot of power all the time. But if you need a lot of power without having your system running constantly because that would have to be running all the time in order to get that level of efficiency that I just said that I think this can achieve because it has to get hot and stay hot and then it won't use as much fuel. Uh, so I will definitely be using this system in the future especially once I get to the ability to create applied energistic systems in regrowth because I will get there eventually. But for now I still feel like the combustion engine is my power source of choice because it's basically power when I need it, power on demand. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to wait very long for it. I don't have to wait for it to heat up or nothing like that. I throw a switch, and I have power. Um, and it's pretty efficient. It's pretty efficient compared to the other systems over here. So, um, this one, biogas is starting to, well, it's almost used up all of its fuel. So, and it's going to, yeah, it's going to have maybe like 50 or so when it's done. The peat is just chucking along, producing a decent amount of of energy out of its, uh, out of its fuel, but it's not going to have nearly as much as these other guys when it's all said and done. And just uh, the baseline over here, our hobbyist steam engine, still has about half its fuel left. And it's done about 10. So, yep. About 10, so it's only going to have about 24 stone whenever that's done. So, hi highly. You want to replace this guy as soon as you can if you're using it. <laughs> uh, with either the combustion engine or the industrial steam engine, depending on your situation. Now, now I think I'm actually going to end up using both of these systems. Like I said, I'm going to use both of these systems. I'm going to get one of these boilers set up. These fluid boilers. I don't really care. I don't really care about doing a um, solid fuel boiler. Heck with that. I'm going to do a liquid fuel boiler, and I'm going to use up all of that creosote oil that I have in my giant tank of creosote to uh, to run some of these whenever I need to have any power for my industry when I get my factory set up in the little village and stuff. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. Gosh, groundfall very long. Trying to exit. So, guys, I hope you uh, have enjoyed uh, checking this out. I hope this explains why I had made my decisions. And, like I said, I'm going to say it one more time just so I'm clear. When I had said that they don't output what they uh, they advertise, that was on a previous version of Buildcraft. So there's been updates, and whatever the issue was has been fixed, and now they are working as, as intended or as, as advertised. So I I retract anything bad I may have said about industrial steam engines. So 
till next time, or actually till the next episode, uh, I hope you guys will leave a like, comment, thumbs up, all that fun stuff, and I will catch you later.